All right, we are back live with Mr. Redundant from Malone Disposal Location somewhere in Miami, Florida. Oh, hey, how's it going, everybody? Yes, we're back. Uh, absolutely. Malone Disposal Location is all here. No, I'm not even going to try it right now. Um, so, yeah, there is good news is um, I get to go pick up the trailer early. Um, it is located, I am technically right now in, uh, I think, Miami Gardens just a couple miles from Apollica and uh, the trailer is located about 13 miles oh I take that back 21 21 miles from my current location over in uh, Miami um, so and it turns out that it is an empty trailer uh, headed up to Kentucky um, to Shepherdsville Kentucky uh, so being that it's empty, I get to go pick it up now. It is ready for me. There's no loading required. And it looks like it's going to be about a 1,065 mile trip. So, uh, with no further ado, here we go. 400 feet, turn right, then turn right. truck up here on the right or on the left there is my dyslexia this black one with this interesting uh, hood I've been seeing these you know somewhat frequently and wondering what kind of trucks they are turns out it's an international and uh, I kind of like the way it looks at first I didn't but it's kind of growing on me there's something kind of uh, for the for its uniqueness you know I think it's kind of cool looking and it's an international, so that's cool. I could look at that. Turn right on Northwest 167th Street, then turn left.
soon as I release the clutch, it'll turn freaking green, so. Man, okay. Couldn't take it anymore. Back on going the opposite direction. 
it's it's set aside just specifically for that you you go into it and you can't get out of it right and so in a big truck you can't get into that one and therefore you can't get cut off by other cars when they try and pull that shit on you either so yeah texas is all right as much as i don't like dallas i can take the way they have their uh quality of their road work and, uh, and the way they have things designed there is pretty cool. Definitely. Actually. Alright, well, shit, I'm Bobtail. What am I doing over here in the slow lane, man? Over here driving like a freaking granny. Man. Oh, I guess I don't want to get a ticket. There's that. So I did, I finally uh, managed to get all yesterday's videos uploaded and uh, I managed to uh, get all of them also removed and deleted and sent to trash permanently from my phone. So I got a whole bunch more room on there. <laughs> what the heck. Hey, some people don't get to see stuff like this, so uh, so I'm doing a uh, service to people who are either stuck at home or you know can't uh, make the kind of sacrifices to be able to do this kind of job, I guess. So there you go. It's a service to you, <laughs> and I happen to love it. It's all good. It's all good, man. Just call Saul. Better call Saul. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. Continue on State Road 826. Well, I'm going to hit the cruise control and see what happens. See if that engine light stays out. Maybe it had something to do with uh, having that trailer on there. Might have been, uh, oh, yep, it just came back on. Son of a bitch. Yep, as soon as I put the cruise control on, that uh, check engine light comes on. Huh. You know what it might be, now that I think about it, it probably has something to do with the uh, on-guard radar system that uh, this truck has on it. It's, uh, it's like there's a there's this radar on the front of the truck um, that uh, you know bounces off of the car in front of you. So when you're in cruise control and uh, and you know you come into traffic or a car gets in front of you, it will uh, it will automatically slow the cruise control down or or disengage the cruise control. Um, just kind of as a safeguard so you don't, you know, accidentally, you know, slam into somebody, you know, while you're not paying attention, I guess. Um, and that, uh, that on-guard system uh, has been malfunctioning, you know, long before I started driving this truck. So it's basically, it's just, it doesn't work, you know, but it's still... It's still uh, connected to the engine uh, computer, and that's what you hear once in a while. With all that beeping going on as it's sitting there telling me that it's not functioning properly. And being that it's tied into the cruise control, and um, I get this engine light that comes on once I engage the cruise control, I'm willing to bet that something's going on in there, and that's why the engine light. So, problem solved. <laughs> I mean, problem solved nothing. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say shit. Uh, as soon as I say that, next thing you know, cruise control stops working again. And uh, like I mentioned before, it's no bueno when your cruise control goes out and you got, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of miles to drive without cruise control. So 
There it goes. It's beeping now. All right, I gotta go. See ya.